Yo, 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 guys, yo, guys, it's Old Man G back again with another video. And uh, big news, big news. Manchester United have a formal bid of over 50 million euros for Lenny Euro, a player from Lille, obviously, and that has been accepted by Lille today. Um, before we get into it, it's obviously a man for Brizio and it's all been covered as well. Before we get into it, my thoughts, if you're new to the channel, like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter at the We United, the smash notification button, play smash nice news, and more. Um, so let's get into it, really. Um, obviously, there were some murmurings that United were interested um, in Europe, but we didn't really know how concrete and how serious it was. Um, obviously, the player's preference would be to Real Madrid, but we didn't really know how serious United were about it. And this is really serious because Lille have obviously accepted the bid um, at 50 million euros for Leroy. And Lille said insisting with Euro to accept United bid, it's the best proposal on the table. Um, however, it seems that he's given his priority and he's waiting for them. And he obviously has one more year on his contract, you know. So the decision is up to Euro as to whether or not he's going to accept him. Obviously, centre-back and Lille were signing centre-backs. Obviously, the lit on the way, thinking about Braithwaite. And now, Euro as well, you know, what's going to happen, you know. So, but I guess, you know, so the first thing I think is that I'm happy that we're linked with a player that Real Madrid really wants. That, that shows the quality in this player. The second thing I think is that um, we also have to be realistic in the fact that, you know, Real Madrid are one of the biggest, if not the biggest club in the world. They've got a pull. And as far as they're concerned, they're like, we're not going to pay over the odds. We can wait till he, he, just like Mbappe, we can wait till he runs his contract down and sign him at the end of next year. No huss, no fuss. Um, now, the only thing from my from Lille and United's perspective is that obviously Lille do not want um, Euro to go to leave for free. They want to make money from this guy. They want to make money from this guy. So if they want to make money from this guy, the best option is for him to obviously go to Manchester United. Um, I think there were some reports saying that I think that the idea that um, Euro um, uh, uh, rejecting other people's Madrid is, is false. Um, so I'm not 100% sure that he's only concerned. I, obviously, he wants to go to Real Madrid. I, I don't think the reports are that like he only wants Real Madrid and nothing else is is, is is true. So I think this is one to watch. Obviously, I put bid agreed in because the bid has agreed. So literally, if tomorrow Euro says, yep, I'll go to Manchester United, it will be deal done in no time, you know? So, but again, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments, guys. I think this is this is definitely hotting up. Um, and Manchester United, unlike in previous years, that would just painstakingly take time signing one deal and then going to another and going to another. You already see how we're getting bids. And we're, we're talking and, and we're in so many different players at the same time. This, I suspect, is the new Ineos strategy because, quite frankly, why under the under under the previous um, owners' ownership would we just only be painfully be able to negotiate one deal at a time when, realistically, we can do multiple deals at the same time? While well, we're negotiating this deal, we're negotiating delete. We're negotiating Xerxes. We're trying to get something of a brave way as well. That's how it should be. That's how a good football club is run. Anyway, guys, remember, if you're on your channel, like and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter at WeUnitedX and smash the notification button. Have a nice day, everyone, and cheers. Peace.